So Sarah Huckabee Sanders is a unbelievably huge liar. Uh, th- apparently, there have been less and less press briefings as of late because the Trump administration has obviously been reaching such insane, insanely unprecedented levels now of insanity that I guess even they can't defend it. But uh, she held a press conference today, and basically, Donald Trump had another one of his rallies. And if you don't know what goes on during those rallies, those rallies are peak Trump, just off-the-cuff insanity, left and right. It's pretty crazy. He just blurbles like a bunch of shit. Whatever, basically, whatever comes to his stupid-ass mind, he just spews it. So, obviously, that's going to lead to some fucking bad things, right? Uh, So, what we're going to be looking at here, Sarah Huckabee Sanders was questioned because at the press conference, or sorry, not the press conference, at the rally that Trump held, he made fun of Christine Blasey Ford's testimony, which is a pretty insane thing to do. Let's check it out. It was pretty obvious that the president was mocking Christine Blasey Ford last night. He said, uh, how did you get home? I don't remember. How did you get there? I don't remember. Where is this place? I don't remember. Uh, He he seemed to be, to the delight of the crowd there in Mississippi, mocking her repeatedly. Isn't there something wrong with the president of the United States mocking somebody who says she was sexually assaulted? It seemed to me that he was stating facts that Dr. Ford herself uh, laid out in her testimony. Once again, uh, every single word that Judge Kavanaugh has said has been looked at, examined, picked apart by most of you in this room. But not no one is looking at uh, whether or not the accusations made are corroborated, whether or not there's evidence to support them. Every person that she named uh, has come out and said either they didn't recall it or it didn't happen or they weren't there. Every single bit of evidence and facts that we've seen in this moment have supported Judge Kavanaugh's case. And the president simply pointed out the facts of the matter. And that is what the Senate will have to use to determine whether or not they vote to support him or not. Are you saying, Judge, are you saying Judge Kavanaugh is the victim in all this? I, I think both Dr. Ford and Judge Kavanaugh uh, are victims at the hands of the Democrats. I think it is absolutely disgraceful what they've done and exploited this process. They exploited Dr. Ford. They're exploiting all of the women that have come out to make any type of accusation. This isn't the process that should have been done. And certainly everybody deserves to be heard, but that includes Judge Kavanaugh. And that should be part of this process. And the facts have to be looked at. And I think you have to look at the prosecutor's memo. Those are where uh, you see all of those facts laid out. And I think she makes a very compelling case. John, go ahead. Thank you. You don't have any problem defending the I don't have any problem right? stating facts. No, John. Thank you, Sarah. Just five I know that's ago. something you probably do have a problem with, but I don't. Actually, sir, we do state the facts, and I think there have been many occasions when you don't state the facts, if I may respond. John, go ahead. Tim Acosta is our chief White House correspondent. You're there in the briefing room. You had a chance to do a little Q&A with her yourself. Uh, what stood out to you? Well, obviously, they're on the defensive, Wolf, and I, I think we saw why this White House so rarely does press briefings. They're, they're in a losing battle with the truth, it seems, on many days. And so you saw the press secretary up, up here at the podium trying to uh, sell the whopper uh, that President Trump was not mocking Christine Blasey Ford last night at that rally in Mississippi. He was obviously mocking uh, Christine Blasey Ford. Only the most partisan, uh, you know, uh, Trump supporter would argue otherwise. And, and I think uh, Sarah Sanders was trying trying to just essentially get through this briefing, answering that question over and over again. She told me at the end of the briefing that the president was just trying to deliver facts. That's obviously not the case. And then I I asked the follow-up question, well, do you believe that Judge Kavanaugh is the victim here? And she said that uh, Judge Kavanaugh and Christine Blasey Ford are the victims of the Democrats. And so the partisan talking points were were certainly on display at this briefing, Wolf, uh, and having been lectured on not understanding the facts, I'm I'm not exactly sure the facts were on display at this briefing. But I, I do think it is it is notable, Wolf, uh, when it was asked at the very uh, beginning of this briefing whether or not the White House is concerned, whether the president is concerned about losing some of these senators, Senator Flake, Senator Collins, Senator Murkowski, because of the president's comments last night at that rally. Uh, I, I think that is a – and the way Sarah Sanders uh, answered that, she, she did not sound very declarative, not very definitive to me uh, that, that they're not worried about all of this. And I, I think it is a sign 
uh, that perhaps they understand behind the scenes here at the White House, Wolf, uh, that some damage was done uh, when it comes to the White House and its backing of Judge Kavanaugh. Uh, you saw earlier this morning Kellyanne Conway saying that uh, Christine Blasey Ford had been treated like uh, a Fabergé egg. Uh, Wolf, I, I think that is an indication that, that they, the patience is wearing thin over here at this White House. They want this confirmation done. And by any, mean, any means necessary, it appears at this point, Wolf, uh, facts be damned. Well, well, why the sudden shift last night? The president had been relatively restrained in the days leading up to that political rally in Mississippi last night. But all of a sudden, uh, he took off the gloves. It's a very curious question. And, Wolf, I've, I've been to countless of these rallies, as you know, and, and sometimes there is no rhyme or reason. That is why we're told often, uh, you know, the president is he has a teleprompter in front of him. He's on script. Uh, but as, as Trump aides will say time and time again, uh, you know, there, there is no holding him back. The, the teleprompters are essentially the guardrails, the rumble strips uh, for these appearances and that he does often go off the cuff. And my, my sense of it is that is what he did last night. But I, I think, Wolf, I, my sense of it is even though the president said last week that he thought Christine Blasey Ford was very credible uh, in her testimony, they understand how close this vote is going to be and if they can in any way possible uh, chip away at her credibility i think that they believe that that is at the end of the day going to be able to cobble together the votes that they need uh, but how how that works when the president of the united states is mocking somebody who says she's a sexual assault victim it, it, it's it's beyond me how how there could be any strategy behind that other than trying to rally the base and and you see that really on display with lindsey graham as well he is doing that as well He's, he was talking earlier this morning about judge kavanaugh uh and he was booed and he said right back to the audience boo yourself uh, there is a circle the wagons mentality inside the Republican Party right now, inside the president's team right now about Judge Kavanaugh. And they are just trying to get to the finish line again by any means necessary, Wolf. Yeah, so that that was really, really hilarious. Again, I want to restate that Sarah Huckabee Sanders is a despicable human being who whose job it is to just go out and lie basically on a daily basis. However, we haven't been holding as many press briefings recently. Uh, so I guess it's not on a daily basis anymore. It's just less than a daily basis. But anyway, so this is this is some really kind of crazy stuff, to be honest, because Trump going into that rally and then deciding to mock and make fun of Christine Blasey Ford's testimony was was really dumb for a few reasons. One of them, because she's a very credible person, first of all. But the second thing being that Trump previously stated that he she was very credible. So that that sort of points to one of two things essentially either trump is you know a fraud and a liar when he's giving his prepared statements uh or uh, he, i don't know he changed his mind or something weird like that but it's definitely you know she essentially stated that you know it was just about stating the facts and that you know what she was what she was saying was is that you know he was just stating the facts that's not what he was doing he was he was going out of his way to be a complete douchebag a massive massive douchebag to Christine Blasey Ford and her testimony uh because if you were to if you were to state the facts you would essentially say you know I watched it and blank was wrong blank was wrong trump trump is doing his usual you know grifter bullshit that he was doing where he was trying to make fun of her um, and also it just, it's just purely insane, but I want to also mention this. This is pretty important. So the vote is actually going to be pretty close. The sad thing is, is that Jeff Flake said that basically, uh, I think he said that if the FBI came up with the sexual assault allegations, they, then he would vote no, even though previously he stated that it, if it was found that he lied under oath, he wouldn't vote for him. I guess he changed his mind, which is a shitty thing to do. But Jeff Flake is a flake. Uh, so he definitely, I think by any objective measure, he's definitely flaky. Uh, for both sides, by the way. Because I know a lot of right-wingers were calling him a flake too. And that, that, that honestly is what he is. But anyway, so uh, the point here being that people, I believe it was Lisa Murkowski, one of the senators who is... Uh, pro-choice who's on the, in the Republican Party who said that she did not like that he disrespected Christine Blasey Ford by saying that and so this could be something that backfires massively because that could possibly be 
either the reason why they vote against Kavanaugh or it could be the straw that breaks the camel's back or it could be like if you have a balance and you know there's one chip like let's say they're you know even balanced then one one extra chip uh, puts it over that could be it as well I don't know but we'll have to see about that but there's also interesting information about the FBI investigation that essentially it is not really doing enough but Sarah Huckabee Sanders, despicable person, disgusting person, and uh, just horrific, horrific press conference. And also Trump, Trump being a douche is, is pretty common stuff, but it doesn't make it okay.